So they an arm. This this part was the cigarette lighter where they burned me, and right here was where the boiling water. Right now it's about a out of one out of ten is about seven, but when it happened it was well over ten. So you don't have to keep it covered up, or do you have to keep it covered up? Well, we do have to. That way, you know, air stuff in the air doesn't get in it and get infected. You hold it in there. Does it hurt whenever uh, something's on it? Like this? Mm -hmm. A little bit, but then it just, you know, adjusts to the pain. The hot water challenge, a new and dangerous trend kids are trying that's leaving many of them hurt. Sherwood High School student Nicholas Conrad was at a sleepover with six of his friends when they attempted the challenge on him while he was asleep. I felt this really bad burning in my neck and I woke up to, and I just started screaming and crying and I just laid in bed crying for about two hours and I finally got up and went to the bathroom and looked in the mirror and realized like this happened and they told me that they poured hot water on me and they didn't realize it was that hot but you know it was pretty bad at the time and the next morning I went home and we went straight to the hospital. First and second degree burns now take over the majority of his neck. He said the boys made a game of his life and he feels lucky to be alive. I just want them to leave me alone. I don't, they're not my friends anymore and they're not going to be. I've realized what friends are and how they act and those were never my friends. What do you have to say to people and other kids that might still be thinking that this is a game, this is a challenge? Well, from my perspective, it's not a game at all and whoever's doing it should stop because it can cost your life.